this um, virus ascends the nerve up to the brain and then infects the brain and then kills the person. It causes an inflammation that's overwhelming and, uh, and uh, it causes changes in behavior uh, and then eventually uh, leads to seizures, coma, and then death. We can't do anything to prevent rabies once you've developed symptoms. Uh, and so we're actually asking people instead to recognize when they might have been exposed. There's two shots actually. One is called rabies immune globulin, sometimes abbreviated RIG or called RIG. This is a passive immunization of collected antibodies against rabies that um, uh, the um, nurse will actually actually inject directly into the wound if it's a animal bite that is visible or give in a muscle away from where the vaccine's going to be given in the case of a bat exposure. This works immediately to give you protection while you're waiting for your body to respond to the vaccine. It's not the old series where you heard about being given in the stomach and how you needed 14 doses and it was excruciating. It's not like that at all. Um, I, you know, I, I want my patients to think about it as it's a preventive vaccine. It's going to hurt the way a flu vaccine hurts. We need to remind our parents to watch out for the children and remind them not to play with stray animals that might not have been vaccinated and might have been bitten by a raccoon, fox, or a skunk uh, and, and is actually exposing your child to possibly rabies. We ask that everyone who has pets to make sure that they have had their vaccines, including the rabies vaccines. That's how we keep your family safe. That's how we keep your pets safe.